Hey, Sprinter owners. Just wanted to show you a quick little video about what I did to uh, put on solar panels on top of my 2009 Sprinter. It's uh, pretty cool. I used the Renogy uh, 200 watt uh, panel kit. And uh, let me show you a few things that I did. Right here, I manufactured my own uh, brace or support system based on the rails. Uh, that were existing on the top of the roof. I used uh, aluminum square tubing and then I used the brackets that came with it uh, with the kit. Basically made my own little uh, uh, bracket kit for the uh, sliders on the, the roof. I used the bolt, put a washer in there to wedge it and then uh, tightened it down. And uh, it's, it's pretty sturdy if you look at it it moves the whole van when you shake it uh, again that's the that's the mounting brackets that came I decided to put it on like this because if you look at my roof I don't have much room uh, it came commercial like this from the factory so uh, the panels are 47 by 21 and I figured I can put one on each side so that's what I did I put one on each side and then uh, mounted it down using uh, fabricated brackets that I made out of uh, square tubing, some bolts, some washers, some nuts, and uh, off and running. I ran the wires for the uh, power from the solar panels down through the uh, XM port that was up there on the on the roof. Uh, it was already existing so I figured why not and I brought it down through that port and it worked really well. Brought it down and I've run it along the inside of the uh, the wall in the van all the way to the back. And in the back of the van, I mounted the, uh, the controller right above the battery bank. I've got uh, 495 amp hours of battery. I know the panels are a little little small for that, um, but I do have a, a uh, onboard generator and I do have a system that uh, charges the batteries when I go down the road. Now this is the uh, controller that came with it. Um, I got the uh, mono, crystalline I guess they call it uh, panels and this is the controller and if you look um, when I uh, go through it this is the uh, the volts that's coming down from the panels that's the amps that are going to the battery and uh, that's the percentage of batteries I intentionally ran the batteries down and uh, less than an hour ago I had 48 percent and now within an hour it's already charged up to 73 percent so I, I thought I'd share this with you because, uh, you know, it was, it's been frustrating uh, watching all the videos on YouTube about, you know, how to put solar panels on a Sprinter van, especially when it comes uh, from the factory already made as a, an RV. Uh, this one is a ERA from Winnebago and uh, I had to really think about it. I had to do a lot of research on what panels to use because of the, the space that I had available to put the panels and then uh, how I was gonna run the wires. And uh, everything seems to work out right, and it's charging away. I'll tell you, it was, it was really easy. It just took a little bit of time to uh, figure out how I was gonna mount it because I didn't wanna buy the brackets. The brackets are like $129 each, and so I needed four, and it's like, you know what? I'll fabricate something up. And the aluminum tubing works really well, and putting the, uh, uh, I used carriage bolts, and then put a washer, wedged it up into the, the, the track that's already there uh, for the Sprinter uh, luggage rack system, and then uh, bolted it down, and it's as tight as can be. I, you know, I, I pulled myself up along the side. I did a pull-up holding onto those bolts, and it's, it didn't even budge. So uh, maybe that's something for you, maybe not, but uh, I didn't want to put holes in my van. Look up there, there's, uh, it's, uh, you can see them, but uh, they, they still remain quite low profile, so I'm pretty pleased with that. I could lower it more, but the problem is I have some vents, and the uh, panels uh, flow over the vent, so I need to uh, have it at the height that it's at. You can see right right about there where the, the panel sits on the, uh, the bathroom vent. The hardware to make the brace, uh, the, uh, the rack, was $108 through uh, Ace Hardware. I got uh, two foot of eight 
uh, two eight foot pieces of uh, square tubing and then a couple of bolts, a couple of washers, a couple of nuts, a couple of lock nuts and uh, made it in uh, no time and it, it works very well. It's very strong. Enjoyed the video. Let me know. I'm going to put a whole lot more out. I'm, I'm usually making video about, uh, you know, how you've improved your life and how you uh, think differently about things and how you get on stage and speak and all those kind of things. But if you notice, I'm letting my beard grow out. I'm uh, just chilling out, sitting here on the back porch, going to have me a, another little campfire, I think, and uh, looking at my work from uh, doing my my uh, solar panels very pleased with the outcome so if you have again if you have any comments any questions please leave me a, a, a comment below if you don't like me I don't care you know you can give me a dislike it doesn't matter it, I don't look at those things because I think differently about things and uh, if you're a hater you're a hater so what but if you need to know about uh, making some uh, some some changes to your sprinter van specifically solar or your electrical system uh, let me know um, we run everything i've got a 5600 watt uh, inverter uh, we run our microwave our refrigerator all of the lights and uh, you got it it uh, it works very well for us see you on the road take care and uh, this is jeff heiser with i think differently take care